The Hair Transplant Network is the largest hair restoration community created by patients to help you find the best hair loss treatments and surgeons based on results. What do you think, in your opinion, is the most interesting and I would say, like, what do you think is going to be the most effective treatment that's coming out, in your opinion? Well, uh, we are talking about uh, androgenetic alopecia for male and female patients. For male patients, I think that the most uh, potent um, medication nowadays is the combination of oral dutasterate, oral minoxidil, mesotherapy with dutasterate, and the topical application of different products like minoxidil and antiandrogens. And the role of PRP or other regenerative medications or procedures nowadays or light therapies, in my opinion, are less effective. And for female pattern hair loss, the strategy would be very similar. Oral minoxidil, oral antiandrogenic drugs, mesotherapy, we can combine uh, dutasteride, betalutamide, and even PRP, and topical products. This is what we are doing nowadays. For the future, I think that we will uh, see a revolution regarding regenerative medicine, but not in the short term, but in the long term. The clinical trials that have been performed in humans regarding the hair cloning are still very, uh, very preliminary, and the results are not good enough to be optimistic in the short term. But I'm sure that in the long term, probably in 10 years, we will see these different types of regenerative medicine or procedures that will help us to treat our patients. You know, I'm talking about the different devices like uh, the uh, mesenchymal stem cells or the regenerative device. Well, I think that they have to improve the technique, but in the future, I think that they will be a milestone in the treatment of androgenetic alopecia.